Hi. Hi. I sort of hoped I'd find you back here. I'm here. Albert's still out in the big cage. I think he has visitors. I heard some kids talking to him. Well, if he feels like I feel today, I hope he has company. Not the greatest day, huh? Nope. Ah, here he is. I bet he recognized your voice. Hi, Albert. <laughs> hey, what's that? I he got his hand. Oh, no. Let me see, Albert. Give. Give. What's the matter? If he breaks that thing and cuts himself, he'll be poisoned. Give. Two or three kids, grab them if you can. A fluorescent bulb. Easy, 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 Albert, easy, easy. Keep everyone out of here till I call you back. Right. I thought he was gonna throw it for a second. If you'll just put it down, I think I can snake it out of there. Albert, Albert, calm down, calm down. You, you mustn't move around. Thanks. He hates this thing. It's the only way we've got. You think you could keep his attention on you? I could talk to him. I don't know. Try. Please. So, Albert, I hadn't seen you in a couple of days. Did you like the bubbles I blew for you? What do you mean he could get poisoned? Fluorescent bulbs are lined with phosphorus. If he breaks the thing and cuts himself, if he cuts himself with a damn thing, we're in for trouble. At best, it's a wound that won't heal. At worst, it's poison. Talk to him. Uh, Albert, I have a story for you. It's one I always tell my little boy, Johnny. Remember him? He's short and blonde. It's a, about an enchanted forest. I can't do this. Uh, one day, a little boy named Albert was walking through the jungle on his way to see his pet gorilla. Oh, my God. Uh, it was a wonderful gorilla. He could do all kinds of tricks and talk. And Albert loved to... Oh. Easy, easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Albert, 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 wait a minute. Listen to me. Listen to me. You mustn't get mad. Owen's trying to help you, and so am I. Now, come on. Come on. Come here. I... I... We're trying to keep you from hurting yourself, Albert. I wouldn't want you to do that because I like you and I would feel just awful if you got sick. And I can't lose any more friends, Albert. And I can't tell you a made-up story about the jungle. I can only tell you why I came here today. And that is because I couldn't express how I was feeling to anybody. I'm sad. And I think you're sad. I think you're really depressed. You feel lonesome for your wife, and you're tired of people staring at you, and you're tired of the sign language lessons, and you just want to be understood. Yeah, that's right. Just loved and understood. I'm sorry I didn't bring you a present. I don't even have a banana. All I have is a couple of sugar cubes from Lamb's. I always get a couple for little John. Horses like these do gorillas? Here, Albert, Albert, try one of these. They're sweeter than bananas. I know you're gentle, so I'm not afraid to do this. That's right. Eat it, Albert, it's good. <laughs> you know, my relatives have a big dog that I'm afraid of. And you're afraid of little boys with, with pea shooters. Isn't it funny that we're not afraid of each other? OK. Mm -hmm. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Delia. 
Oh, thank heaven. Thank you. He touched you. Yeah. We really seem to communicate. Mm -hmm.